Hi, Doug Jones here at Mortgage Magic and Buyers Realty. And if you're doing a real estate transaction, a purchase, or a refinance, in most cases, you're going to be having appraisal. Uh, I say most cases because the last few years, if Fannie Mae has a record, we've done a lot of loans without an appraisal. But for the most part, there's going to be an appraisal. And I'm going to talk about five things that appraisers are going to look for in every time they visit a property. And you want to make sure these things are in place because if they're not, the appraiser is going to call for a revisit. We call that as a form 442 and they're going to do a revisit. But if they do a revisit for something you've got to fix, they're going to charge you more money. And the first thing is uh, I put on the board here is water heater. Water heaters, I'm talking about California, water heaters have to be strapped and they have to be strapped with a metal strap. And they have to be strapped two times unless the heater, if it's over 75 gallons, they have to have three sta straps. So you want to make sure that your water heater is strapped. You can't believe we've told people this and the pressure goes out. It's not strapped. They got to go back. They're going to charge another hundred, two hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, the second thing is smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. A smoke detector in California has to be in every bedroom. And let's say you've got a hallway with three bedrooms coming down the hallway. You also have to have a smoke detector in that hallway. And you have to have, if you have two levels, you have to have a smoke detector on every level, even if there's not a bedroom on the uh, other level, okay? The carbon monoxide, you need a carbon monoxide on each level. If you have two, two uh, story, you need two carbon monoxides. Now, in the old days, we used to say you had to be four feet high. That seems to be going out the window, I guess. It was bad signs or something, but I see them now. As a matter of fact, many of these units are sold as a combination. You get a carbon monoxide and a smoke detector in the same in the same unit. Plumbing, the appraiser is going to go through and the appraiser will flush every toilet. The appraiser will turn on the water. The appraiser will look at the outside water, you know, the uh, where you put the hoses and things. They're going to look at all the water flow and they're going to look at the, uh, the uh, toilet flow. Electrical, the same thing. They're going to turn off all the lights. They're going to turn on the stove burners. Uh, they're going to make sure that everything's working. The property inspector is going to actually plug things in every wall socket. Sometimes the appraisers do this. I've seen them do this sometimes, but if they suspect something, I guess. But the, the uh, appraisers are going to check your electricity. Now, the last thing I've got up here, the fifth thing is, is visual. I'm talking about visual inside and outside. The appraiser is not going to get on the roof. A property inspector will. But appraiser from the ground will look at the roof. And if it sees prop problems, you know, misplaced shingles, uh, deterioration, there will be a comment and then they may call for a roof inspection. Okay. So you need to be aware. They're going to look at everything. They're going to look inside the house. They're going to look at the walls. They're going to look to make sure there's no broken windows. They're going to make sure the lighting is, is working. So even if the switch works, the light bulbs have got to be in place as well. And, and on the outside, they're going to be looking even at the walkways, make sure there's no trip hazards. That again is a property inspection, but appraisers sometimes comment on that. Now, we had one one time where the appraiser, an FHA loan, called for the fence to be painted. I've never had that before, but this one particular appraiser called for the fence to be painted. The person went out, the painter went out, painted it, painted the second coat. It was on the third coat. Now, the appraiser had to go back. So, the fellow was on the second, third coat, and the appraiser goes there and says, what are you doing? He says, well, I'm finishing up the painting. The appraiser charged them for that appraisal, that 442 re revisit, and then they required to go back again. That was sometimes you get, not often, but you will get those kind of appraisers who want just crazy things done. And sometimes appraisers will miss things. So, you know, if it's not important, you don't mind. But these are these are the things they're going to look for. And the one thing you do want to avoid, you want to avoid that 442. You want to avoid that revisit. Um, I'll just go a quick side note. We had a reverse mortgage one time we did, and the appraiser goes out, and in the bedroom, the buyer or the customer was growing marijuana. Now, he had a card from a brain injury, and he was licensed in California to grow marijuana, his own marijuana. But that FHA loan, that reverse mortgage was an FHA loan, that's against federal guidelines. So we had to not only have him take everything out of that room and rechange it. We had to change lenders. We had to change appraisers. We had to change everything. So in my in my personal situation, what I do on a reverse mortgage, because the people are usually older and sometimes they don't see things, I make a personal visit before the appraisal. 
but be aware that these are the five things that the appraisers will be looking for and make sure you get everything ready and you don't have they don't have to come back again. I'm Doug Jones at Mortgage Magic and Buyers Realty.